Hello everyone, welcome to Master to Teach Step by Step Guide. In this video, we are going to learn what is an originality check in Google Classroom. How to enable the originality check options in Google Classroom while assigning assignment to the students from the teacher's point of view. How to check the originality of your report yourself in Google Classroom before submitting your assignments from the student point of view. How to check the originality of student hand-in report, again from the teacher's point of view. We will discuss all the required steps needs to follow and limitation as well with example. I will try my best to explain step by step. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ok, let's start. What is the originality check? One of the wow feature introduced by the Google Classroom is originality check where you can check your documents, report or assignment originality yourselves easily. It is all about the checking plagiarism of your report. Google Classroom uses Google Search to compare your document or assignment report against billions of web pages and millions of books which will help students to identify unintentional plagiarisms and unsighted contents before submitting your assignment report. Originality reports links to all detected web pages and flags on cited text which will help students as well as teachers to see where students use source material and where citations are present or missing. Let's learn how to enable originality check options in Google Classroom while assigning assignment to the students from the teacher's account. Login in Google Classroom using your teacher ID. I hope you know how to use Google Classroom to conduct online classes. If you are new, please visit my previous video to learn how to use Google Classroom which you can find the link within the description of this video below. Open classroom.google.com. Make sure you are logged with your teacher account ID. Navigate to the Classroom tab where we are going to create a new assignment to the student with enabling the originality check. Click in create button and find the assignment options on it. In the assignment page, you can create a new assignment. Let me create a demo assignment for now. Title Master to Teach Online Originality Check. In instruction, let's type all detailed instruction which is important for the student, like In the right side, you can select the option like for which class you are going to assign this assignment. You can choose all students or a specific student as well. This is why the marks or points the assignments is for. Set the due date. You can set in which topics to categorize this assignment so that student can find it easily. You can set rubric as well, which is for notifying student how the assignment will grade. At last, you can find the options of originality check. Check this option. A pop-up will appear which notified that three assignments originality or report left. That means you can enable originality checks only for the three assignments per class in G Suite for education account. If you need more, you need to upgrade the account. Click continue and you can assign the assignment to the student by clicking on the assign button. As soon as you assign it, the student will get notified by email. They are enabled to do originality checks for their assignment report themselves before submitting the assignment. We will learn how to check the originality reports of all students as a teacher in a few minutes. Before that, let's learn from the student side how to check originality check before hands in the assignment. I am opening another browser for the student view. Open the Google Classroom. In the Google Classroom, find the assignment. Note that for now, Google Classroom accepts only the Google Docs file for the originality check. If you upload Microsoft Word file, Google Classroom won't check the originality of your report. So that, for the originality check, let's learn how to convert Microsoft Word file into Google Doc file. First of all, open Google Drive, drive.google.com. Click on New and select File Upload. Choose your assignment file which must be in Microsoft Word doc file. Select it and click open. As soon as it uploads in the drive, it will not convert into Google Docs format. To convert into Google Docs format, 
right click in the file and select open with options and choose google docs your document will open in a new tab which you have to again save it navigate to the file menu and select save as google docs format which will again open the new file in another tab which is already in google doc format as you can see the difference between two files in the google drive here one fav icon notebook is google doc file whereas icon with w is microsoft word doc file this google docs is the file which you have to upload for the original teacher now open the google classroom and find the assignment and click on the view assignment on the right side click on the add or create button you will find multiple options over there but as i have already mentioned you before it only accept the google docs file so that select the google drive options select the assignment report file which you had uploaded and click add once the report has been added you will get the options to run the originality check click in run once you click on it you will notify how many times you have run the originality check you have only 3 time chances to check the originality checks for an assignment run the originality check which will take a few times after a while you can click on view originality report once you click on it a new report page will load where you can see in all details like which content matches with which source line by line to see in percentage click in percentage sign where you can see total percentage of flag content you have three time chances for the originality check so that you can improve the report and recheck the originality once you are all done you can click in the hands in button and submit your assignment works to the teacher in this way a student can check their originality of the report before submitting it to the teacher by themselves which will helps the students to improve the assignment report now again let's see how to check the originality report after student hands in the report switching to the teacher account in google classroom you can see how many student had hand in the assignment click on it to view all list of students and their submitted files to check the originality report of the student submitted file simply click on the submitted file which redirect to open the file on the new page over here in the top right corner you will see the originality test which shows seven flags passages click in it to see all in detail report of the originality check where you can view which content matches from which source including the number just beside the count tab click on the percentage sign which will show the total percentage of flag content here it's showing 23% flag contents from where you can decide whether to accept the assignment or not most of the college set the rules as it should be less than 20 In this way you can assign the assignment with enabling the originality check options where student can themselves check the originality of the document before submitting the assignment whereas the teacher can also check the originality of hand in documents of students one by one in detail note that you can turn on originality report for three assignments per class with a G Suite free educational account whereas student can also run only three reports on the assignment before submitting their work the teacher can't see the reports of the students until the student hand in the report so that the student has three chances to improve their report one more things originally reports are viewable for 45 days i hope you learn from this video tutorial if you have any questions or comments please make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below Also please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you very much for watching check us out for more in it tutorial and guide on website mastertoteach.com and we will see you again soon bye